Hi, Dennis Ward here again at Hofa College and Hofa Studios to do another reaction video. So let's see what the guys have lined up for me today. Okay, the song, well, the band, the artist, is called Full Beat. The song is called Shotgun Blues. And I think I've heard this somehow, some, some point in my, my life. Yeah, it's not that old. It's from the album Servant of the Mind, 2021. Producer was Jacob Hansen, and he also mixed it. And it was recorded and mixed at Hansen Studio in Denmark. So, let's get right to it. And here we go. Okay. An intro. Okay, first thing, big compliment because obviously sounds great. I mean, it's a, a Hanson production and he's just known for exactly this kind of thing. It's got his signature sound. Uh, if you know any of Hanson's productions, this is pretty much what, what he does and does it really well. Chunky guitars, big fat bottom snare, and a very, very clear mix. It's like very, very, very transparent. Um, right up my alley. I'm, I'm really into that kind of thing too. Um, the first thing that I notice when I'm listening, beside it being a very clean version of Metallica, uh, even the way of singing almost, uh, the vocals have got something going on. There's definitely some kind of effect, some kind of modulation, or possibly another way of uh, making that effect is not just with a chorus or a harmonizer effect, but it's probably also doubled. The vocals are doubled, and I'm going to get shit for this, but they're tuned to death. They are melodyned or auto-tuned or whatever to the point that it almost sounds like it's coming out of a keyboard, which is fine. You do your thing. It's, it's nothing wrong with that. Um, but when you got two vocals on top of each other that are both tuned to perfection, it's going to make this smeary kind of almost phasey effect, okay? I think it's partially that, but I also think it's being covered up by some kind of modulation, some kind of chorus effect. Let's begin by taking a song like this. And this song was called Numb, originally recorded by Linkin Park. And this is one of the many songs available in the Hofa Campus courses. Okay, the vocal sound is nice and clear. You can hear there's a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay there. But still, it's not really wide. So let's see what we can do here. First, I want to show you what we got going on. Using the Hofa Systems plugin, we've recreated a type of micro shift. And what we've done is we've taken the signal and we split it to a mono. One side is being delayed 13.5 milliseconds, and the other side is being delayed 25.7 milliseconds. The first delayed signal we've pitched minus 9 cent, and the other delayed signal we've pitched plus 9 cent. Now both signals are panned left and right, but not fully. And this is what it sounds like when we add the effect. And now let's listen to the vocals isolated with this effect. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. 
Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface I don't know what you're expecting of me But under the pressure of walking in your shoes Something in general that I don't really appreciate uh, about um, a lot of extreme modern music um, is like this. I almost never hear cymbals in these kinds of songs. I don't know why. I know they're there. I hear a small pss, pss, There's something going on, but there's no real crash smash effect like you'd have, like, let's say Van Halen, something from the 80s or Motley Crue, where the cymbals were obviously cymbal. Here, it sounds like the cymbals have been just cut off. I mean, like rolled off probably um, or, or um, shelved off to like 600 hertz and below. And it's just fizzle. It's literally just fizzle. There's a bit of room there, uh, just a little bit of fizzle from the overheads and very quiet too, which leaves it, makes it very, very clean, very clean. Because when you get rid of all of the, the bottom and the mud and the... The, the impact from the overheads, the toms, the kicks, and whatever. If you filter everything out, you're going to have a much, much clearer mix, for better or worse. If you're looking for a smash crash kind of a sound, that's not going to do it. But I respect that he wanted this very, very clean, clear, cleaned up sound. And that's one way to do it. The, the rooms also sound like they've been like uh, uh, triggered, uh, open, closed for the drums, um, either with a sample or actually some kind of gate trigger on the room. But in general, this is what's keeping this mix really, really, really clear. I think that's a ride. I gotta mention again, I'm kind of missing like on the the pushes on the ones of bars. There's, there's no, psh, it's just a little bit of a psh in the background. You know, like I said, that's fine if that's what you're looking for. Um, just wish it was a little bit more tough. It's very, very clean. The more I listen, the more clean it seems to get in my ears. But you know, that is definitely fine. I do like the guitar sound. The guitar sound is really chuggy and really up front. Okay, they have no keyboards or anything like that going on. It's just guitars, which does make it very, very easy. The effect in the vocals is growing on me. Um, I like it when people adventure that way. You know, uh, the vocals are not being messed with enough, in my opinion. It's always usually just a reverb, maybe a constant echo or a, a, a triggered echo here and there, and probably a little bit of a widener, but nobody's actually experimenting anymore with vocal sounds like well, Ozzy was back in the day, or Judas Priest even with Electric Eye putting flangers in the vocals and stuff like this. So actually, I'm starting to really like the fact that the vocals are so manipulated this way. There's plenty of room to do it, and it just makes it sound special. So uh, that seems to be a good thing now. I just wish it had more psh, but no. Very cool song.
set of parts are always cool. Slayer invented it. Wish it was faster now. Slayer would have played it faster. Very hooky melody. Very, very hooky melody. guess my eyes are deceiving me again i find it weird to see a drummer smash and crash on a hi-hat and i don't even hear it that's kind of bothering me now um i need to pay more attention to that myself actually yeah but cool video cool song uh, the song is really really hooky i really really enjoy it I love that tempo style. It's like around 130 BPM. Um, I'm, I'm into that, you know, really straight, uh, almost four on the floor, but not quite. Um, I would have liked the middle part to have a tempo change where it really sort of went into more Slayer mode. Uh, but still, very, very cool. I love the sound in general. I think it's really, really clear and really powerful at the same time. Uh, I love how this is not overproduced. This is something that... Uh, Seems to happen a lot. Let's put another guitar there. Let's layer this. Let's just keep layering stuff to control the dynamics or to make it sound different. And they just went for a, a vibe from the beginning to the end of the song and uh, with uh, no bells or whistles, no X or nothing. Very, very cool. Would I have done it that way? Probably not, but this is still very, very cool. I like, um, in retrospect, <laughs> like I said, the vocal sound effect. And what's sticking in my mind is the fact that... Nah, nah, the whole song is about right here. Very brave. Very brave to sing almost the whole thing in one, I don't know, it's not even a 12-note range. It's just like eight or nine notes. Very, very cool. But uh, yeah, I would have uh, probably done it differently, but it's still a great song, great mix, great sound. And uh, yeah, i got to listen to more Fold Beat later. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something from it. Come see us at our website, www.hofamindedscollege.com. And stay tuned for future videos. We hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.